hello my loves welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your butterfly message reading this is strictly for butterfly gang strictly for y'all so if you guys are new here welcome if you're coming back welcome back i'm aji this is sacred libra where we talk all things libra make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you Okay, some of you guys, there are going to be a lot of messages out here and I'm just going to be rolling through them. So some of you guys may may resonate with the whole story and some of you guys may resonate with bits and pieces. Please leave anything that you got here that does not resonate, leave it here, okay? Don't take it, don't, don't welcome that into your energy, all right? What messages do we have for Libra? <coughs> What messages do we have for Libra? Oh, somebody feels like they got betrayed again. Like stabbed in the back again. Yeah, somebody got a moment. Somebody got stabbed in the back again and they're realizing... Somebody is definitely realizing their steps there because they this can't happen again. They're like, I would not let this happen again. Damn. It's almost like a moment of damn. I let this person come in and do the same exact thing. You didn't know it while you were in it. Feeling strongly like a relationship being caught up in that honeymoon stage moment again, being caught up in that infatuation like love stage some of you guys you dropped your boundaries again you didn't feel like you needed your boundaries because you were blindly in love you were blindly trusting somebody so you dropped your boundaries again to show a form of trust and yet you're back here person did the same thing in the same womb the same womb Flav the same womb sorry I had to anyways um let's keep on going there's a divine masculine here. So for some of you guys, hey, divine masculine, I've been getting your energy a lot. What's up, y'all? Any <laughs> Anyways, um, I've been getting y'all energy a lot. So divine masculine, your energy is here. This could be you or um, Libra. There could be some type of breakdown that you're having with the divine masculine. Um, what other messages do we have? Divine Masculine is looking like you loving what you do. You love what you do and I do what I love. Okay? I do what I love and I love what I do. Divine Masculine is living. Okay, somebody need to watch their mouth. Libra. Divine Feminine. <laughs> Both of y'all out here. Divine. We got Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine out here. I think this is a sign for me to do a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine reading. Okay? Watch your mouth how you... Watch how you talk when you talk to me. Divine Feminine is like, I am love. I am creation. Is Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine having a breakdown right now? Are we about to uncover this here? Shout out to Butterfly Gang. What other messages do we have? Is there some type of all eyes on me? Somebody, what you going to do with that? Somebody has all eyes on them and they got a lot on their shoulders, but they're at some type of celebration and everybody's looking at them or at a party. Somebody's handling that very, very good. So if you're going through something and you, you're seeing a lot of people, they have no, they, you don't look like what you've been through. You don't look like what you've been through at all. You're feeling like there's a dark cloud over you that just keeps raining and everybody can see your struggles. Nobody can see that. Nobody can see that. So chin up, okay? Keep your chin up. Um, what other messages do we have? What other messages do we have for Libra? Butterfly gang. What other messages? No more messages because I'm going to go into my black cards. Intuition is a mother, ain't it? 
ain't it? Ain't it though? <sighs> Damn, I just really wish we could have somebody rehashing the past. Somebody's rehashing the past. Somebody's coming back. Spirit guys got it covered behind the scenes. They definitely do. Somebody is trying to rehash the past. Somebody who you knew was going to come on back. And they came back. And you just knew it. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. For some of you guys who was going through something, don't even worry about it. There's a goodie two shoes. We're going to unlock you. Somebody who you don't see. <laughs> oh. And it say behind that, it say mad bees going to stay mad. Mad bitches going to stay mad bitches. There's somebody behind that. Somebody, somebody putting up a front. Somebody mad, but they putting up a front. Oh, yeah, I said my black cards. Let's get some more messages for my lovely, lovely Libras. What messages do we have next week? This energy of next week is coming out like some good energy is unfolding next week. I can't wait till next week. I can finally get out of the goddamn house. <laughs> like, finally, you had a wildfire. Somebody's jumping to conclusion here. There was a wildfire. Something happened. Um... A lot, I feel like a big spark was happening and somebody was is going to start jumping to conclusions. Somebody's jumping to conclusions. Oh, somebody's attracting a lot of money into them. Somebody's definitely attracting a lot of money into them. I am money. So you're attracting what it is that you are. There's a truth that's also coming out. Truth's out. There's a truth that's coming out. What else? I know these are a lot of messages, but this is for my butterfly gang. This is what we like to do. Also, a major accomplishment that you can look forward to, okay? And you have new love at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I was hearing, Hey Stranger. That's not that song by L.O. Cool I know that's, Hey love, hey love, this is more than a... Say, y'all thought I didn't know that, did y'all? Yeah, I know it. Anyway... <laughs> That's somebody, some like, hey, stranger. I feel like you caught somebody's eye. Tell me more about stab in the back again. Moment of clarity. Stabbed in the back again. Realization. Doing this realization. Okay. Definitely looking back at things. And I feel like the foam, the moment that you have this moment of clarity, it's, it's because you notice a pattern. You notice that you drop your guards or your boundaries are not as strong as this. You may even notice that, oh, I might have this attraction to this type of person because of this type of relationship with my parents. A lot of people don't understand that when we go in love, who we connect with in love, if you're ever trying to deepen your connection with love, you will always have to go into that connection with your parents. And a lot of people don't like to do the work. It's too cliche. They like, that has nothing to do. That has everything to do. Most people who try to deny it the most, deny their parents or deny their relationship with their parents, they exude the most characteristics. It's like, once you realize, you're like, oh my gosh, I had, oh my gosh, I have that too. I do that too. And it's like, sometimes we try, we run so blindlessly. I have a poem about this. We run so blindlessly, telling ourselves that we'll never do it again. Blindless, blindly running into that same path, repeating all those steps. Because our past is key information. And when you close yourself off from your past, there's key information back there. There's key steps, there's key patterns. There's a whole guide, a whole map that you can look at. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is the rebirth. This is the transformation because that is no more. It's no more of you neglecting these things about yourself. It's no more of you um, not doing the self-reflection, not reflecting, not taking time to reflect on your life, your choices, your decisions, your behavior, how you're feeling, your body. You are being, you are one with um, your body. And sometimes these lessons 
um, these lessons that we learn the hard way, these lessons that come in, um, in our lives the hard way, sadly to say they shape us in a way that is so good for growth. They shape us in a way that was so good for growth. So for some of you guys, this, this knife stabbed in the back again, this knife energy is really feeling like the 10 of swords energy. It's really feeling like that energy of that last blow that makes you, that lets you know, I can't, I can't stay down here at the bottom. It brings you down to um to, to rock bottom so much that you like, I'm going to get up. I have to get up. What you don't see is that you're releasing a burden. You're releasing a burden. All you're looking at is the person. This could be this King of Wands person. Tell me more about a moment of clarity. Look at that. That tower when shit when shit broke down. That was the moment of clarity. For some of you guys, you had to get this. It's going to sound crazy, but some of you guys, spirit had to allow this moment of betrayal or this moment of feeling stabbed in your back again because spirit knew that this knife, this knife was going to bring clarity. All those other wounds and things, it wasn't going to hit like this one. This, the, the, this knife... This tower moment, this painful ending, this chaos and destruction, this moment of betrayal in your life definitely was going to hit and it was going to click on a light bulb and you were going to start moving differently, okay? You don't see the blessing. You don't see the blessing in it yet. You don't see all that it could be grown into. Or you're looking at it like a aha moment. Or epiphany. <clears throat> like I said, aha. You're looking at it at a moment of like, so, it, it, this is what it's showing you. It's the sun revealing something. Revealing light to you. But you don't know, the, you don't see the beauty in this gift. You don't see all that it can be. You don't see the gift that it is yet. You just get in the clarity, which you're right on time. You're right in the right path. Tell me more about divine masculine. Power. Control. Tell me more about Divine Masculine. Okay, Divine Masculine. Tell me more about I do what I love and I love what I do. Okay, Divine Masculine. Look at Divine Masculine for real. Divine Masculine. You are cruising with this Six of Wands, this Nine of Cups. You're loving what it is that you do. You're doing what it is that you love. You're on top of the world right now. Great energy from this morning energy. This morning you was hot, Divine Masculine. Your energy was hot. But now it looks like you're getting some type of recognition. It looks like all of your hard work is being paid off. You're not doing this for nothing. You're not working that hard for nothing. You're not going through this storm and all this chaos and all this stuff for nothing. You're going through it for a very valuable reason. For your success, your victory, for your ultimate happiness. You're trying to make your life easier. You're trying to make others, uh, other people's lives easier as well because that's what you do. That's in your nature. You're going to do that. So if somebody is showing you, Divine Masculine, somebody is showing you some support, some love, giving you your recognition, giving you your flowers here, and you're feeling really good. You're feeling really good. When I tell you how simple men are, Words of affirmation, like words of affirmation, feeling really good. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here with this Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, there's definitely a lot of love here. Tell me more about, watch how you talk when you talk to me. Watch how you talk when you talk to me. Tell me more about that energy. Yeah, it felt like that. Didn't it feel like being backed up against the wall? Divine Feminine, somebody got you backed up against the wall. Tell me more about Divine Feminine, love and creation. Somebody got you backed up against the wall. Some friends, maybe some kids here. Maybe you be set, you're going to set something straight with some little kids here. Um... Gonna show, gonna show some little kids how to respect their elders. 
But I feel like somebody is pressing, like somebody got you backed up against the wall and you're about to let somebody know, I'm not just anybody. <laughs> Talk your shit. Oh, you thought it was all love um, and flowers and all that. It's that too, but watch how you talk to me though. Because it can get real. It can get real, real fast, okay? Watch how you speak. And you have a blessed day. <laughs> and you have a blessed day, okay? From here, you don't see... Somebody is definitely bothering. Somebody, somebody is definitely bothering you, trying to take your energy, trying to get all up in your space. This is what you, it, this is what it looks like. And this is what it is. You got this seven of wands energy on you. Five of wands energy. It's like you need to lay down. You need to put your foot down and let people know who you are. You didn't work too hard. You work too hard. You know too much. You've done too much for somebody to put you, to back you up against the wall. Like you don't know how to handle yourself. No matter if it's all three divine feminine, like I'll take all three of y'all down. Watch, well, watch how you talk to me though. And I wrote the watch how you talk when you talk to me. I wrote that card and inspired by the queen of swords. Because the queen of swords is not going to take no disrespect. So this is just a reminder that your divine feminine energy, you can still be divine feminine energy and you can still demand and command your respect. That's part of your duty of being divine feminine. It's like, if you're going to talk to me, you're going to watch how you talk. Or we're not going to be talking. Okay? <laughs> all right. Tell me more about all eyes on me. Tell me more about all eyes on me. Yeah. All eyes. You got the sun. All eyes are on you. A lot is happening. People could be all up in your business. You can hear a lot of people talking, a lot of people chattering. And what you don't know is there are some people who know about your situation. There are some people who know about your situation, but you don't look nothing like your situation. You just feel like that you're looking like you're off balance and you're looking like you can't juggle you can't handle anything. There's people who know about your situation. Um, people know who that you have a lot on your shoulders right now. Tell me more about I got a lot on my shoulders. Literally. Trying to get through it. Literally got a lot on your shoulders with the strength card here. Literally trying to get through it. Muscling through it. You're doing a great job muscling through it. Okay. Um... There's something hidden from you. Okay, you're hiding it. Definitely hiding how you're truly feeling. How you're appearing to everybody else is you're appearing. You're still like connecting. You're still holding up on your connections. You still probably held your um um held up your end to, to make certain appearances and still come out, still come out, still show out, still show up, still answer. You're still making do. I feel like at this time, you should be able to give yourself some rest because you do have a lot on your shoulders, like really. And it does take a lot of strength to carry what it is that you've been carrying. So definitely you deserve some rest. You deserve to not answer nobody for a day but yourself. Tell me more about clink, clink, clink. There's somebody around you that truly, there's people around you that truly supports you. Yeah, there's somebody around you that truly supports you. It could be a Taurus, could definitely be a Libra, could be a Leo, um, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, there's people around you that definitely do love and support you. Definitely love and support you. Tell me more about intuition as a mother. It's a mother bleeper. You knew. You could be feeling like you already seen this. You already seen this. You don't know how you look to somebody. Oh, Libra. You're so naive. So humble. Come here, love. You don't know how you look to, to somebody. You don't know how you, how a person, how another person views you. 
your intuition though your intuition has been telling you like you've been hoping and hoping and hoping but deep deep down inside you're like i don't know i don't know but still your intuition has been telling you and when it happens you're like that's why i had that feeling that's why i had that feeling that kept telling me well you I, it just seems like i feel like there's another person here There's another person here. There, there's somebody here who's going to open up and tell you the truth about how they were really feeling. There's somebody here. Tell me more about, damn, I really wish we could have. Somebody want, want that old thing back. The three of swords. Somebody wish they could have worked something out. Something's growing here. Something's going to blossom and grow here. You're looking at something. This is making somebody look at somebody from a different perspective. The fact that somebody came back and came at you with the truth and was open and ready to have an honest um, conversation about their feelings, left their pride at the door, um, that makes you look at them totally different. And they've always been looking at you like... You know, like they wanted you because they always really wished that they could have. And now they now they actually going back. I feel like this could be a past love. Tell me more or somebody from the past. Somebody This could have been somebody who was separated, who was gone for a long time. Like I said, I do have that hey stranger energy. Tell me more about spirit guides got it covered behind the scenes. They truly do. Whatever path you choose to go on, for some of you, whatever path, whatever path you choose to go on, Spirit God's got it covered. Because what you don't know is that you have the tools to go on any one of these paths. You can go left, you can go right. You're fully equipped. So you shouldn't be worrying. If you knew truly how powerful you are, you would not be worrying. You don't see that you're the magician. You don't see that you're fully equipped with all your tools. You got those tools. You got those tools last year. Some of you guys did some crazy work last year. Look, an unexpected call. There's something that's going to happen out of the blue. Just make a choice. Doesn't matter which choice you go on. It doesn't matter which path you go on. Both paths are going to be prosperous. And both paths, you have, both paths, you have the tools. And the spirit guys got it covered behind the scenes. All you have to do is make a choice. Tell me more about when it rains, it pours. Unexpected. So there's going to be some unexpected news coming. Unexpected news. You're going to have to, you're going to be called to do something. Going to be called to do something. Know that your spirit guys got you covered. You're going to be called to make a choice. There's going to be some unexpected news, unexpected bad news probably. Um, could could have something to do with some some money. Um, yeah, it could definitely have something to do with some money. Could be family issues, family problems too. Okay, let's get into these black cards. If any of that resonated with you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe. We got somebody's attracting money. Somebody going to be jumping to conclusions next week. There's some major accomplishments. Also a new love here. Um, tell me more about I am money for Libra. Tell me more about I am money for Libra. Seven of seven of wands here. I feel like you you're opening you're attracting all of this to you. I feel different with this, and then the sun kind of switches this up. So instead of having all these opposing forces, you're having all of these options come to you. All of these people come, all of these things come to you. All of this money come to you. All of this energy come to you. A lot of you guys, you're attracting a lot of money, a lot of unexpected money. Um, yeah, a lot of unexpected money, a lot of help is coming towards you. A lot of people, uh, which are saying you're not looking at it as that 
you're looking at it as like a long road or like you're going on a successful road, but this is a lot of energy coming towards you. Your energy, you're attracting major success to you, major success and happiness. Tell me more about next week. What's going to happen next week? What's, what's going to happen next week for Libra? Libra, are you leaving next week? Somebody's leaving. Somebody's staying strong and leaving or they're, they're making a wise cho choice and leaving. Somebody's making a choice for their future. Somebody doesn't see themselves as has, having all the tools. Just as much as somebody's ready to get on that boat, somebody is still ready to keep procrastinating and waiting at the fence, like making their mind up. Um, I feel like your mind could just be going all over the place, jumping to conclusions, like you're scaring yourself. You're freaking yourself out. Tell me more about jumping to conclusions. With this new beginning. Yeah, you're expecting it, so somebody's still waiting. You don't know exactly how prosperous. You don't see the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All you have to do is finally jump on that boat. Whatever it is. I'm feeling like this has something to do with this phone call. Um, Look, it's going to go in your favor. You got the Justice card at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to weigh out your options. You want to make the best choice. Get that. We get it. We get it. We want to make the best choice. You don't see how something could come. Something broke down after this tower moment. You don't see how something could happen. The universe is, is funny like that. Tell me more. You go through a tower moment and you get up to something that looks like it could possibly be a tower moment or it's trying to get you to open up, be as vulnerable as you were when you made the decision that possibly led you to the tower moment again. But yet this time it's an alignment. This time the foundation was made of something secure. This time it's yours. It's not going to fall. And it's like, when we get to that point after we had something, we're like, I don't know. I don't know. And spirit guides is like, you did the work. Just, just jump on, the, jump on the ship. It's not going to fall. That was a totally different foundation in the past. This is, this is solid. Tell me more about major accomplishment. A long-awaited major accomplishment from your hard work, dedication. Your hard work and dedication bringing you lots of happiness and abundance. Lots of happiness and abundance with this Ten of Cups card right here. You've been working at this for a long time and you finally get this major accomplishment. This could also be happening next week. Tell me more about Truth Out. The truth out is about, about how somebody's feeling. Somebody has finally mustered up the strength to tell somebody the truth. Yeah, somebody has finally mustered up the strength to tell somebody the truth. Have a face-to-face -face conversation, head-to-head -head conversation, truth-to-truth -truth conversation. Um, you don't see it, but somebody is, somebody is definitely going to be confessing their love to you confessing their love or they want some type of higher level of commitment or they want a deeper level of commitment in the relationship if it's not like a they want a deeper relationship with you somebody wants a deeper relationship somebody's finally opening up and ready to say that and then look i feel like this is a new love somebody is bringing up the courage and the strength to tell you exactly how they feel this could be a new love this could possibly be this one right here that was like i wish we could have you know i've always had a crush on you And then we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Libra. So that's the message. This is the butterfly message of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.